Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Step Deviation Method. It is a continuation from Assumed Mean Method. We start with finding A that is the middle value of Xi. Then we find the deviation Xi minus A after which our method changes. Here we observe that all the entries are multiple of 15. So if we divide the values in this column by 15 we would get smaller number to multiply with the frequency. Also we could understand that 15 was the class size. Let us denote class size by H. Then our class size is 25 minus 10 that is 15. And it is same for all the class intervals. Let UI denote Xi minus A by H where A is assumed mean and H is class size. Now calculate UI. We have UI equal to Xi minus A whole by H which is same as Di by H. So let us calculate UI. We get U1 will be x1 minus a whole by 15 we have x is 17.5 a is 47.5 whole by 15 which is equal to minus 30 by 15 that is minus 2 so we have minus 2 here or we can directly do di by h that is minus 15 by minus 15 is minus 1 then we have 0 then 1 2 and 3 next we have to find fi into ui now it becomes very easy 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 3 into minus 1 is minus 3, 0, 1 into 6 is 6, 2 into 6 is 12 and 3 into 6 is 18. Summation Fi Ui will be equal to 29 here. Next step is to find u bar which will be given by u bar equal to summation fi into ui whole by summation fi. Summation fi is 30. So our u bar is given by 29 by 30. Now we have to find the relation between x bar and u bar. For that we start with u bar we have taken to be summation fi into ui whole by summation fi where ui is equal to xi minus a whole by h. Let us substitute here. From this expression we can take out 1 by h common. So we have 1 by h summation fi into xi minus a whole by summation fi. Solving this further we can split the summation sign in the numerator and get summation of fi into xi whole by summation fi minus a common 
summation fi by summation fi will get cancelled hence we have 1 by h into x bar minus a equal to u bar solving this further we get h times u bar plus a equal to x bar so in the step deviation method mean will be given by h times u bar plus a let us calculate the mean for our question now h bar is x bar is equal to h which is 15 into u bar which is 29 by 30 plus a that is 47.5 equal to 14.5 plus 47.5 equal to 62 the method discussed in this video is called step deviation method and we should remember that in step deviation method x bar or the mean is given by h into u bar plus a but there is a limitation to this deviation method as it is applicable only if all the di's have a common factor also we observe that the mean obtained by all the three methods is same and the assumed mean method and step deviation method are just simplified forms of direct method.